everyone. So today I'm going to be taking you along while I make my homemade soup broth. It was Thanksgiving weekend, so I have, I saved the turkey carcass. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that. So I just put the turkey carcass leftovers in this pot because I knew I would be making a broth. And I also saved some drippings from the turkey, so I'm gonna throw that in as well. So the ingredients for this broth is actually very simple. Um, it's mostly just scraps that we have laying around in our fridge. Um, I usually use celery, carrot, onion, and garlic for my veggies. Um, but the other day I didn't have any celery and I used a sweet potato and it actually turned out amazing. It was one of my best broths. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna chop all that up and throw it into the pot. Okay, so now I have added all my veggies to my pot. Time for the spices. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of salt and like nine or 10 peppercorns. I'm just gonna shake that over top. Then I have some dried rosemary, oregano, and thyme. I didn't really measure this. I would say quarter teaspoon of thyme leaves. I don't put as much thyme in. Sometimes I skip it all together because it's quite a strong flavor. And then the oregano and rosemary, maybe a tablespoon of each. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Um, in the summertime, if you have a herb garden, I recommend using fresh herbs because it's just that much better. I'm gonna throw in a few bay leaves. One, two, four. And one of the most important ingredients not to skip is apple cider vinegar. This is about three tablespoons. The reason I put the apple cider vinegar in is it's going to help the bone break down and release all of the minerals and nutrients into the broth. So it just helps make it that much more nutrient rich. Now I'm going to fill my pot with some cold water. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave everything to sit in the water for about 20 minutes before I bring it to a boil. Um, that's just gonna allow the vinegar to do what it needs to do to the bones and break everything down, help get those nutrients out. So then after about 20 minutes, I'm gonna turn the stove on, bring it to a boil, and then once it's at a boil, I'll turn it down to simmer, and I'll just leave it simmer throughout the day on very low. And then at nighttime, I turn the stove off, and I just leave it and in the morning I turn it back on to simmer and I just let it simmer throughout the day and then it's ready for soup um, that day or I could even let it go for a whole other day if I wanted to. So I guess I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Hi everyone, so it is the next day in the evening and my broth is done. So I'm going to show you what I do next. So I strain my broth in two steps. So for this next part, I'm actually going to strain it into my salad spinner. If you have a salad spinner, this works awesome. Okay, so now that that step's done, I'm gonna go ahead and use a mesh strainer to strain this into my pot. And that's really gonna strain out all of these herbs and just little chunks of meat and any bone that may have gotten through the strainer. And that is my overnight broth. So now I'm just going to add my veggies. Um, I'll probably add some carrots and peas, some noodles, some turkey. Um, normally I would add celery, but I don't have a lot of time to cook it this evening. And then I'm going to cook up some, either some baking powder biscuits or sourdough biscuits. I haven't decided yet. And I will be sure to do another video of how I do my biscuits. I make two different kinds. They're both amazing. So if you decide to go ahead and make this overnight broth, please leave me a comment below. You do something 
different, something else that you swear by, leave, uh, leave a comment and let me know. I'm curious. Um, like I said before, I had tried with celery, but I didn't have celery. So I tried a sweet potato and it actually made a really, really good broth. Like it was so good. It actually had a little bit of sweetness. It wasn't too strong. If you like my video, please leave me, um, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, and my name is Becca and thanks for tuning in at In Yellow Houses.